In this video, I'll show you how to use the parameter feature in Power Query to filter your data. Now you might think, if I'm filtering my data in the Power Query editor, that's pretty simple. I just need to click the drop downs. But let's say that you have many columns in your Power Query editor file, and you have to do a lot of scrolling back and forth to edit those filters. If you create a parameter filter, you don't have to scroll back and forth, and it might save you a little bit of time. And if you're sharing this file with other Power Query users, they might not want to scroll back and forth between the files and having the parameter feature makes it so much easier just to filter that one set of data that they need. So if you're curious and see how this happens, let's check it out. All right, let's bring my data into Power Query. Let's go to data from table and range. Excel smart enough to figure out the range for my data. Create a table, click OK. It's going to open up Power Query Editor. And let's say, for example, I have to scroll all the way over here and I want to edit the locale for just east, right? And I filter it for just east. Let's click Close and Load. It's going to put it into a worksheet, a new worksheet, and we'll just have to filter data for east. And if I send it to somebody else and I don't want them to go through scrolling all the way over there, it's, it's a short, it's a smaller table, so you don't have to scroll so far. But if it was a longer table and we had to have people scroll, when we're sharing this data, or if I'm doing this, I don't want to scroll all the way over there to maybe to the right and, or maybe move things around. I like to keep the table at its constant columns. Let's create a parameter for us to filter it or make it easier for us to, to do that filter. So under manage parameters, let's click new parameter and we'll just call this locale. And here we can say any value. So let's make the current value, let's make that north. Let's change it. Click OK, and now I have a parameter which I can put into the code here. So instead of having this filter row reference east, what I can do is delete that and put locale. The IntelliSense is going to figure out I have a parameter available. Let me click on that. And whatever is in that parameter, it's going to pass that on as a filter. Click OK. Now you notice if I scroll all the way over here, it's going to say north. And so I just passed my parameter. Click close and load. And now we have it set in our table here. Now when we're opening up our queries and connections. If I just want to change it to something else, I can open up that query and call it west. And if I just click away from that query or that connection, that uh, parameter, you can see that it's changed here. So it makes it a little bit easier when you're sharing, when you're using it and you have a large file and you don't want to change the placement of your columns and instead of scrolling along, you can just change it here on your parameter or if you're sharing it with somebody and they don't want to look at the filter that you have it and, you, and then you're giving them the option to change it. Uh, but there's also something to keep in mind is what if they mistype something? So it's also good to have it maybe as a list. So let's change this, go to manage parameter and it open up down instead of any where they can type in a text or numbers, let's just make that just text. And for our suggested values, let's make it a list of values. So we know that we only have four values available there. So we just type in north, enter south, enter east, enter west. Right, and so now we have those values and we can select the default value you want. We'll, we'll do north and current value, you can also just do north, right? And click okay. And now we see our current parameter value is north. We go into our table. It is north over here. If we change our parameter, and now we have a dropdown. Instead of typing it in, it makes it easier. We just have a dropdown. We have east. And if we go to our table here, we have east. And that's selected. And it's automatically done. Click close and load. And then your parameter changes your table. And now you've got your output for just that. Looks like it didn't take here, but we can just do a data refresh all, and we can see it's changed it to east. So using parameters is actually quite useful if you wanted to have some interactivity within your sheet, whether or not you want to make it easier to filter your particular output, or when you're sharing with others, make it easier for them to select different filters to pass that parameter through. As you can see, passing a parameter in Power Query is a pretty effective feature. Now we're using it in a simple case here where we're using it to filter data, but think of all the other possibilities that you can think of when you wanna pass parameters inside every query as one of the steps to many other steps that you're doing when you're cleaning your data. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.